if someone has a symptom of palpitations or shortness of breath, something suggestive of an arrhythmia, they typically present first to their primary care physician who notices these symptoms. They may do an electrocardiogram and then refer them on to a cardiologist. Cardiologists may do some further testing, uh, an ischemic workup looking for blockages, and, and then if they're concerned that arrhythmia is the uh, primary problem, then they'll send them on to an electrophysiologist like myself, and we'll do further testing first, non-invasive testing, some monitoring, and if we pick up an arrhythmia, then we may consider doing some more invasive testing, like an electrophysiology study. In the surface or non-invasive tests, we're trying to look for a heart rhythm abnormality. Normally, the heart rate at rest is about 60 to 100 beats per minute, and it's sinus rhythm, meaning it comes from the sinus node, the pacemaker we're all born with. However, if someone has an arrhythmia, they may feel skipped beats, extra beats, or a sense that their heart is racing. And in that situation, if we have a, a surface electrocardiogram or some form of non-invasive monitoring, like a Holter monitor or an event recorder, we can actually see what those skip beats, extra beats, or fast beating represents. Then once we put the catheters inside the heart during an electrophysiology study, we can hone down as to exactly where in the heart these things come from. Um, I would say a surface EKG is a 10,000 foot view of what's going on in the heart. When we put the catheters up, we're looking real time at you know, a few millimeters apart from where these extra signals come from. So the electrical problems can either come from the top chamber of the heart called supraventricular arrhythmias or from the bottom chamber of the heart, ventricular arrhythmias. Superventricular arrhythmias are broken up into different types. There's the big one, atrial fibrillation, then there's atrial flutter, and then the reentry circuits, AV nodal reentry tachycardia, AV reentry tachycardia, also known as Wolf Parkinson White, and atrial tachycardias. The superventricular tachycardias are typically dealt with primarily by medication or ablation. The ventricular arrhythmias may be dealt with with ablation and sometimes we have to put in devices called defibrillators for these arr arrhythmias if they're felt to be dangerous or life-threatening.